How do y'all today? The plan is simple. I'm gonna show you a lure that'll help you catch more fish than your buddies. Got one. Like that. Oh, don't come off. Got one. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. So this is the jack worm for those of you who aren't familiar. We're gonna take one and we're gonna trim one down and use it to catch bluegill and small bass and maybe even some crappie in this pond right here. The cool thing about this worm is it's actually designed to be cut down. Since I'm targeting smaller fish, I'm gonna cut it right around there. And we're gonna use this little bit to see if we can catch something. We're gonna save the rest because that makes like an awesome little mini Ned rig. We're just gonna put that back in the pack. This is a 164th ounce mule jig. We're gonna see right how far we need to thread it down to see where it's gonna come out. We'll slowly start guiding it in. It's gonna come out right about there. All right, there we go. It's good color. If we need to, we can still make some adjustments, turn this into a cut tail if we want to. We're gonna go like that for now. This is an ultralight setup. 13 fishing defy silver. Ultralight rod 6.6 with the 13 source K ultralight reel size 1000. We got four pound test on this thing. Let's see if we can catch some fish. We did have a big storm come through. Ooh, felt like a bite. We did have a big storm come through recently about a couple days ago. Kind of washed all these fish around. So the fishing might be a little tough, but I think we should be able to snag one or two maybe. All the fish I'm seeing right now are about this long. So if I can find something that wants to feed on something this size, we'll be in pretty good shape. Oh, something had it. Maybe they just had the tail. Got one. Nice. Ooh, it's a good bluegill. It's a very good bluegill. Check that guy out. Got our first one on it. Nice little bluegill. We're going to put him back. He was cold. Just had to move around a little bit and find him. Let's see what else is out there. Got one. Nice. He hit that instantly. What is this, another bluegill? Yep, another one. This one's bigger. Check this guy out. Wee wee! What a beauty. We're gonna put this guy back. What a beautiful fish. Let's try and work this little pump, this little filter right here. There's usually like one or two. Oh gosh. See, I got one. I got one. <laughs> right behind the pump. There we go. Nice little largey. The cute little guy. We're gonna put him back. We're still in good shape. Plastic is holding up just fine. Got one. Yep. Got you. You're not getting away. Calm down, buddy. Whoa, no. <laughs> well, he made it back. There he is. We're not gonna lose this one. This is a good one. Oh, this is a thicker largey. Check this guy out. Whew, beauty. So you're probably asking why I'm sitting just right here. So as you can see through all this, like, um, I don't know what you call this pollen runoff, all of this, it's all flowing this way, pushing it down this little, uh, Creek channel down in here, which keeps flowing down to another body of water. That means everything is slowly getting pushed down this way, including all the bait fish, including all the worms, all the insects, everything that falls in the water that is light enough is migrating over in this direction. So I'm sitting around this area because there's probably fish staged in here. Not to mention there's rocks. I don't know if you can see the rocks. There's rocks in here, so it's a harder bottom. Fish are gonna stage up in this section. 
that is why I'm focusing on this spot. I'm focusing on that spot over there directly because I've been getting more bites over there than over here. Could be because I'm standing right here and the fish can hear me and feel me and the fish over there can't. Regardless, this is where I'm focusing my efforts right now. Um, hopefully, this leads to a couple more fish. But first I gotta fix my lure because the tail got hooked up on it on its own. Like that. Oh, don't come off. It's a nice one. Crank up this way. Oh, it's a largey. Oh no, it is a bluegill. Oh, I foul hooked this thing. I swear I've caught you like three or four times now. Look at that chunk out of his head. Good luck to you. Oh, I felt like a bite. I do. What? I do got one. Yes, I knew it. I knew it. That line was moving around. He must have had so much slack. Little largey again. This guy got some kind of ick on him right in there, right underneath the fin. We're gonna put him back. Maybe a turtle got a hold of him, who knows. Got one. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. He's taking me way out there. Come on. Come on. <laughs> that was quick. Look at the belly on this guy. Nice and beautiful colors. This is a male. It's got those stripes going down the side. Calm down, buddy. Oh, there you go. He was barely hooked. Calm down. Oh man, what a beaut. Oh. Got a lot of blue in him. Nice colors. We're going to put him back. The cool thing is this is the only jackworm that I've cut. And as long as you don't get snagged, you're gonna have this one for a long time because it's got that same high stretch formula that all the rest of the meal fishing plastics have. Got one. Yes, largest of the day. Oh, don't get snagged up in the grass. Here we go. Nice. I was waiting for one of you guys to come and grab it. Beautiful. Nice little dink. Like I said, they're not hitting it hard. They're grabbing it and swimming with it. Got one. Got one. Nice. Good fight on this one. Big one. Big bluegill. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. There we go. Check that guy out. Beautiful. Nice colors. What a beauty of a bluegill. This one's pretty chill too. We're gonna put this one back. And on that one, we're gonna call it. Let me know how else you think we should rig up this jack worm. There's several ways we can rig it up. I wanna hear from you guys. Put in a comment down below. And of course, if you wanna support the channel, everything I use will be linked in the description down below. Go ahead and use those links to buy some gear. Thank you guys for watching.